Recently, I was in the situation that I had to print a plethora of model skyscrapers for my kids. And while doing so, I noticed some issues with overhangs and bridges. Since I also switched to Orca Slicer 2.30 better recently, I thought the issues maybe came from settings that didn't transfer properly to the new version or I messed something up by overriding my old settings that were actually quite nice. It didn't matter what was the issue. It was time to tweak my printer's bridge building skills. So I went on print builds and downloaded Robo 3D Designs bridging test models. And I went straight for the 100 millimeter bridging test. What a disaster that was. After this stringy mess, I thought maybe better to start with the 50 millimeter model, which I did. And I started playing around with the settings. And as you can see, I had no idea what I was doing. Therefore, I did some more research and digging in the internet, and I actually achieved quite respectable results. Let me show you what I did. Before we start talking about settings, let me show you what we actually influence when we change the bridge settings. The bridging layer is this layer. This dark one out here is the bridging layer and this lighter blue in here is the bridging infill. So what I changed is the following. Here under quality you have down here bridging. You have the bridge flow ratio. I set that to 0.83 that's the value I determined with my flow ratio calibration up here. That's the value for my filament. With all these settings, your mileage may vary because it depends on nozzle used, print temperature, ambient temperature, a little bit humidity, and what kind of brand of filament you use. This is now for PLA. Bridge flow ratio 0.83. Internal bridge flow ratio 0.94. These two I left at 100% and then I unchecked thick external bridges and thick internal bridges. When I check those two options it just zags more. It doesn't work well with my setup. But as I said your mileage may vary. Then let's get to speed here. Under the speed settings in the overhang category you have bridge. The standard setting is I believe 50. I switched to 60. I tried values between 1 and 50 at random and I didn't see a lot of difference there but as soon as I switched to 60 I saw a significant improvement. Once again your mileage may vary. Also these overhang speeds over here I actually um, copied them from another video I found on YouTube. I just went with those settings. I had no chance yet to take a deep dive into the overhang speeds. This is just for a guideline. So I went here to 20, 15 and 60. Bridging, once again, speed, set these two to 60. Quality, down here put this to whatever flow ratio is the correct one for your filament. I put this one to 0.94. It can be anything between 0.92 and 0.96 in my case, but 0.94, I just settled on that. Leave these at 100%, uncheck these two, and you should be good to go. Yeah, during this tweaking session, I also thought I might want to try the front fan on the shroud again on the print head for better cooling purposes but let me tell you it actually doesn't make a difference at all if at all it sometimes cools the front edge a little bit too much and therefore you get quite a lot of layer separation right here in comparison to when i run the print head without the front shroud. 
So I'm glad I got rid of that thing. I can see what's happening under the nozzle. It's way less noisy because this fan is, is not a quiet one. So yeah, I'm still running just the rear fan and maybe I'm gonna design a shroud that cools the nozzle or the part a little bit more uniformly beneath the nozzle so that it doesn't just blow from one side with a lot of force and potentially pushes soft layers sideways. I also finished the last parts for my second stage of the Sovol SV08 mod. So that means I can now go into the steps of tearing the printer apart and relocating a lot of the electronics. But that is something for another video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.